going on guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm gonna be working on some wiring I got all the wiring stuff down here it's a whole mess um, so I'm gonna pull out like the main harness and all that stuff and I'm gonna redo a new harness with the same um, wires let me just uh, clean some of this stuff out of the way because I got my CRV in here if you guys want any content on um cars trucks whatever i do that stuff too so just write down in the comments below i mostly have like hondas and stuff so if you're into that as you can tell by the by the name of the channel but yeah so let me get to working on this i'm gonna move this bike out of the way so yeah all right guys so i got her uncovered um i'm gonna move all these parts out of the way i painted this off camera um came out decent not too bad the other side little bubbles down there but it's fine I'm trying to get this bike running as soon as possible because spring is right around the corner okay guys now that everything's clear um i'm gonna get all the wiring out of the box but before i do that i'm gonna actually try to tighten all these bolts motor mount bolts and um these bolts right here. <clears throat> so before I do that, before I do the wiring, I'm gonna get to this um, and I'm gonna use some Loctite thread lock. Um, you wanna make sure you, you do this if you guys don't know. With the vibration of the bike, the nuts will come off. So um, just put a little bit on and you should be good. Um, so I'm gonna do that right now. All right, so you just wanna put a little bit on the, you just put a little bit on the threads just like that and then you just put the nut back on so this one is um a high temperature as well so since it's so close to the motor um it'll withstand the heat so I'm just gonna do one and two and then these two and these two so I got six more to go so I'm gonna just do these real quick okay guys so I got everything thread locked all these bolts so I'm gonna move on to the wiring let's grab all this yep look at all this Whoops. All right, guys, so let me, let me grab all this stuff out of here and I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I got everything out. I know it looks like a lot of wiring, um, cause it is. Um, so coil packs, uh tail lights well blinkers um those are not going on yet so i'm gonna keep this to the side horn i believe i chopped yeah i believe i chopped the horn so the horn's gonna have to get relocated somewhere else so besides the speedo all that other stuff i'll figure all this stuff out when i go put the harness back on the bike so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna take everything out all the the gunky um, plastic. I have new plastics here from Harbor Freight, two different sizes. I got half, half inch, and I have three eighths. So, and I believe this is three eighths as well. No, I think this is smaller than three eighths. Um, so I'm just gonna get everything out of the coils. Um, so my plan for the, for this harness that goes on the handlebars, I wanna make the bike as clean as possible. So I was thinking about drilling a hole, passing the wire through, and then underneath here, and then from here, come down, you know, run, run into where it needs to run into. Um, but let me get all this stuff off. So another thing, fuel pump is getting chopped. Um, this wire is getting chopped. It's because I'm not gonna be running a fuel pump. It's gonna be straight from the gas tank to the carbs. Yeah, let me get to this. I'll be back.
Okay guys, so I got everything stripped down. So there's only a few wires that I don't remember where they go to. Like, I believe it's this one, these two, these two black wires right here. I don't know what the heck I did, but I'm gonna retrace everything. Um, I know where most of the wires go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna this is like the main the fuse box. So what I'm gonna do is find a location where I'm gonna be putting this. I don't know if I'm gonna put it in here where it was before, cause it was, it was here like this. That's why this is all cut up. So it was in here like this and it would give me access to it, but the cables were all bunched up in there. So what I'm gonna do is with the tank, I'm probably just gonna put it in there like that or something like that. I don't know, I'm gonna figure something out and um, I'm gonna figure out how to run the wires into the box from the handlebars, the headlight, um, cause I wanna make sure it's clean as possible. So let me get to figuring out what's what. This is a lot of wires here. Let me get working on this and um, I'll be back. All right guys, so I'm just gonna put everything, um, run everything where it needs to go. I'm not gonna record that. I'm just gonna um, time lapse later on when I start chopping everything up where the wires are gonna be going. So yeah, I got everything where it needs to go. Like this is gonna get chopped off because I ended up splicing it all the way at the end. I don't know why I didn't just chop it over here and splice it together. And then um, like all these other clips and plugs, like I know some of this stuff right here is for like the fuel pump. So that's going to get chopped. Um, I'm going to take a trip to Harbor Freight real quick. A few moments later. Okay guys, so I got back from Harbor Freight. I picked up this uh, little rack with um, the wires. It comes with the wires. It was only like 30, 20 something, 30 bucks um, at Harbor Freight. Um, and it comes with all the wires. So pretty cool okay so I think I just bent that piece right there but it looks pretty good it comes with 10 gauge speaker wire zip cord bell I don't know what the heck that is that looks like some house cable wire or something I don't know one hour later okay guys so I got pretty far um, got everything routed to where it's gonna be not a hundred percent like I don't know if this is going to the left side or the right side because I know these are like for the clutch but I got this zip tied because I don't know what this is for if I don't need it I can just chop it here and that'll be a whole bunch of wiring in the bin I'm gonna try to finish everything up um, hopefully I can get everything done by today um, put everything in a loom you know so let me get started on this okay guys so this harness is pretty much all set just have to run this wire right here this red wire I have to run it to another loom from the other loom to this one um, and then this is all the tail lights for the back um, this is all the handlebar stuff tail front um, turn signals um, radiator cooling fan um, the horn that's the horn wire right there as well um, this is the coil packs I had them mixed up earlier and I had to go into some photos that I had saved on my old phone but these are the actual these are the actual coil pack um, wires and this is the RPM wire so I will feed this to the front because um, the RPM wire comes off the off the um, digital cluster that I have so I'll feed that in and then this is just all the harness all the plugs that are going into the into the box that will be plugged inside the box because this rectifier right here is what plugs into that end so that's what's gonna go there um, I might end up 
chopping this, replugging, you know, because it's, it's way too long. So um, this is all set. I just gotta, you know, tidy all this mess up. Yeah, so let me just uh, finish this up and I'll be back. I started working on this. So all these already are already um, soldered together. So I just need to solder this side. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this in a loom and you know, then solder this side. But I ran out of loom. Well, I can use I can use a small one. I'm gonna use this small loom right here. Okay, guys. So um, so I got the ignition ran through the front all the way to the back. So I'm probably going to run it through through here underneath the gas tank. Then it's gonna come through here into the into the case. So I made these wires way too long. Um, so I'm gonna chop them here and then redo them here, same length as this one. And then this one I'm gonna chop as well. This is the one that goes to that harness over there, that red one that I was talking about earlier. So I'm gonna do this real quick. All right guys, so I got this all finished. Um, I'm gonna let it cool down. Some of them are still hot. Um, if you guys want these, these, these things are the best soldering. Like you don't have to solder it with the tool, the solder gun. Um, you just slip them in, push the, the wires together, slip them in, you can twirl the wires together, whatever you wanna do. Um, and you just put this in there. And this, this is like the, the solders in here. Once you heat it up with the flame, you can use a lighter, you can use a heat gun. I find that the lighter does it a lot quicker. So um, I'm gonna put it down below in the description. It, it brings like, it's a whole kit and it brings different sizes. I got it on Amazon. Pretty sure it's on eBay as well. So um, I'm gonna put this down below if you guys wanna check it out. Okay guys, so I made this hole here for the wires to go in and then this hole here for the wires to come out. It took me like 40 minutes, no lie, just to come up with this idea. So I used fish, fish line, uh, I don't know if you can see that. I used that fish line, threw it in through here, it went all the way down. I was using wires, I was using a whole bunch of stuff and nothing was working, so I used fish line and it went in right away. So I'm just gonna pass a few wires through and see if it um, if I have to make the hole bigger. Cause um, I know this side, I only need a hole for two wires, but this side needs like four, five, six, all these wires right here, all these wires have to go through that little hole. So let me snake some wires through all right, man, so it's in there. The wires are in there. All right, guys, so it's looking nice and flush. It's nice and tucked in there. It's coming down through here. Got some wires attached to the headlight here. This is the ground. Um, then I got the wires coming back here. I gotta solder this stuff. Got like a few wires I gotta solder here, a few here, and then comes back to this plug here and then the harness plug here so I have enough space so that when I route it I can route it within here down through here into the case because it all it only has to go that far so boom okay guys so this side's done um <clears throat> gonna move on to this where is this harness I gotta lengthen this harness and then I also have to look at this mess this mess of cables everywhere
All right, so <clears throat> got the hose done, wires through. Um, just gotta extend these wires a little bit because it's not really gonna reach. And then I'm gonna finish that. It's gonna be the last thing I do. Let me handle this right here and I'll be back. Okay guys, so this is all set. I actually just need to, I ordered some of the other soldering pieces cause um, ran out. So, but for the most part, it's pretty much all set. There's still some stuff that I have to solder. So should be here within the next few days or so. Look at that. It's looking nice and clean. Got it coming out the handlebars these two wires so like I said I'm waiting on um, the soldering pieces to come in so I can finish this up um, got that loom there everything here so guys I'm gonna end the video here I hope you liked this video give me a thumbs up I'll give you guys an update once I'm done with everything so next video um, hopefully I'll be you know doing the tires and stuff like that as well um on the rims maybe who knows we'll see um but yeah guys this looms are looking good give me a thumbs up guys i'll see you guys in the next one look at all this wire on the floor i gotta i got some cleaning up to do all right guys to the next one peace